My name is Philip Feinstein. I come from South Africa. I came here in 1972. I had to leave South Africa because in South Africa um, there was the apartheid system and I was totally opposed to the apartheid system. Uh, coming into Australia as a tourist, I was welcomed with open arms and the way the Australians saw me was well, I come from a rugby country, well welcome mate, you're like us, you like rugby. So it was very, very easy to assimilate. I very often get asked the question, where am I from? Why did I come here? What is my background? Those questions to me don't, don't count for very, very much because it's where I am now and what I'm doing now that is more important. After a short period in Australia, I really began to feel that this is my home. I was accepted and of course at the same time I was able to contribute. Since I've been in Australia, I have found it to be quite a pleasure to be involved in helping people. But the biggest achievement I have to say for me has been the refugee program. About nine years ago, I decided to contact the Villawood Detention Centre to see if I can help with music. But I knew that music can help people with stress. So I contacted the Villawood Detention Centre, they said come on out, we want to talk to you and I had a meeting with them and uh, they said yep, we'd love you to help us. And we were in the music room and the music room was this huge big room, it was, a, it was like a double garage and I looked around the room to see what instruments they had and they had nothing. And I said where are your music instruments though? And they said oh we haven't got any instruments, we thought you were going to bring us instruments. So I then realised that I had to get them music instruments. I also realized after Villawood that it's important that I concentrate on the other detention centers as well. I then got a partnership going with the Uniting Church and with some synagogues whereby people in other cities, Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne and so on, where members of the public would take music instruments to these centers and the actual people from like from the Uniting Church, they would then deliver the instruments to the detention center that's closest to them. So what I'm saying in effect is that the Music for Refugees program is now throughout the whole country. With regard to music and singing, well I have these big sheets of paper with all the words up and we stick the words up on the wall and everybody just follows the words and it's fantastic because a lot of the songs they know, some of these songs are very old, you know, from you know 60s and 70s and Rolling Stones stuff they know and the Beatles stuff they know. So a lot of songs they know and then there are some classics like Summertime some of these guys have got the most amazing voices and I think it's very very important that Australians think what their background is because other than Aboriginal people most if not every single Australian comes from a refugee background and let's give people the opportunity when the Vietnamese people came over here initially some of the Australians were a little bit anti-Vietnamese people contributed so much to this country. When the Greek people came here and the Italians even prior to the Vietnamese people, again, they were seen as not in a very good light, but they've contributed wonderfully well to this country. So what I'm saying is these refugees coming over here at the moment, whether it be from Iran, Iraq, Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, Pakistan, wherever it is, these people can contribute to our country. They will benefit Australia, so we should be welcoming them to Australia.